Hey, good morning. I've spent a lot of time talking about change, especially with the rubber bands recently, but I was wondering if you were aware and knew that there are actually stages of change. Which brings me to the Peters Cartridge Factory here behind me today here in Loveland. This factory has been around for a long time. It supplied uh, World War I and World War II munitions, but it has sat empty since 1968. And just recently, the go-ahead went to start to renovate it and turn it into something new. Change is happening here at this factory. And the, the, the stages of that have been in increments, not just a snap decision to go ahead and change it, but we experience change in stages. First, there's a pre-contemplation stage, thinking about thinking about it. When we aren't thinking about changing something, it sits dormant for decades. We know it's there, there isn't any reason to think about what to do with it, but that pre-contemplation is what would we do with something if we were going to change it. From pre-contemplation, the second stage is contemplation, and then actually trying to decide what would it look like, imagining what a new site would be, how to renovate, how to make a change. Third, there's pre-contemplation, contemplation, and then the third stage is preparation. Actually beginning to work on what change would look like. The fourth stage is implementation. You can, if you listen hard, you can hear the machines working behind me of starting to actually make the changes. Plans were made, uh, permits were, were created, the infrastructure and plans were pitched to the local township, and now the machines are working on making the change. After the action phase comes a maintenance phase. This building will look like this in another 50 years unless maintenance is kept up on it. So pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. And if you know anything about the history of this building, it also has a relapse phase where this building has had multiple times that it has looked something like this in disuse and has the change cycle has had to start over. It's important for us to understand that the change phases are not linear and that we go back and forth between them. How does this happen in your life? What are the things that you are not thinking about changing, have started to think about thinking about changing? What are the things that you're thinking about changing now and are starting to prepare for and have tried to take action on? And what has prevented that from happening? And what are the things that you have changed that you now have to maintain? Thinking of this change cycle as stages helps us to identify where we might get stuck or where there are pitfalls. 1968 is a long time from now, from then until now, of sitting dormant and not being in a contemplative phase. Where are the areas where you're trying to create change? What stage are you in? What might you need help with? And what might it look like to begin to the next phase in order to make that change happen? And then how will you anchor it so that it stays? It's a pretty cool process to watch this begin to happen. I hope that it goes well for them, but what do you need help on and what might coaching look like that for you or who can you ask for help in making those changes? I'm John Rhodes. I hope that you're able to find purpose and meaning in your daily life.